Well, we are now in Hispanic Heritage Month, and Hostos Community College is honoring three Puerto Rican sisters that made a difference in our borough. News 12 of the Bronx reporter Amy Rodriguez has the story. To the rhythm of salsa music, visitors were able to walk down memory lane. Visiting the personal history of three Puerto Rican sisters who some consider pioneers of the Bronx. They're leaders of the Puerto Rican diaspora, but most importantly, they believe that communities of color deserve equal rights. Rights that they fought for within their own career choices. The oldest, Evelina Lopez Antoinetti, would lead the way by becoming an activist for social causes. Lillian Lopez would become one of the first Puerto Rican librarians in the city's library system. And Elba Cabrera, an advocate for the arts. The fact that we're being recognized in this way, I feel blessed. We worked not for a recognition, we worked because we believed in the community. The exhibits divided into three parts, the things that the sisters were known to fight for, arts, activism, and education. Learning about the three sisters, um, it's amazing. Learning not only about their causes, but their family, even some of their favorite belongings like this chair. Cabrera admits her late sisters would have loved the Hispanic Heritage Month exhibit. They would be honored. They would be honored. She pictured her eldest sibling giving a powerful speech about community and togetherness. It's all safe for her. We got to work together. Doing it together, just like the sisters did. The exhibit will be open to the public through October 10th. Amy Rodriguez, News 12, The Bronx. Hello and welcome back to Open, everyone. You know, we're always inviting you to get social with us. That's right. Tweet us at Bronxnet TV. And while you're there, tweet more at Rina Valentin. We want to hear from you. So, the Bronx Museum Heritage Center, along with Casita Maria for Arts and Education, will be opening a new exhibit featuring three sisters who had a profound influence in the Bronx and Las Tres Hermanas. That's uh, art and activism uh, tells the story of Evelina Lopez Antonetti, Lillian Lopez and Elba Cabrera. And, uh, sheds light on their lasting legacy over the Bronx Puerto Rican community. And joining us now to share more, we welcome the co-artistic director at Bronx Music Heritage Center, Elena Martinez. And one of the three sisters <laughs> is here, Elba Cabrera. Hello. Thank Good morning. You. Thank you for having us. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this is amazing, <laughs> amazing. And I just wanna say on air, thank you, Elena for making this happen because when I started reading about it, I was saying, why haven't we done a film about this? And it's a blessing that we have you here to talk about it. Thank you. So uh, congratulations on this. I know it hasn't opened yet, <laughs> but uh, I'm just in awe o o over it. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about, I guess, what inspired you to put this uh, exhibit together. Well, actually, this is um, the conceived. Um, I had some partner, but also Christine Licata who um, used to be a Casita Maria also, um, she had worked with Taya Boricua and I guess has a new, a new elbow for a long time. And we both um, were working on the South Bronx Culture Trail and this year the Culture Trail is um, dedicated to social justice. So we're like, this is the perfect time where we could do something about this story. Um, I've done walking tours of the Bronx, musical walking tours, and I would always add in the work, the history of United Bronx parents. And, and the Bronx has this incredible history of um, activist, a lot of activism, mm -hmm. grassroots activism, mm -hmm. but also that use, using culture and music and art to get the point across in the struggle. So, and, and then Evelina, Elba, and Lillian's stories are so important to the Puerto Rican community for all of us, for our story and um, uh, for us in the Bronx. Um, we have a long history of Puerto Rican women doing incredible stuff with arts and activism. There's n n people now doing more, but their story is, um, you know, really the story of the 20th century and, and the work that was done with our community. So it's so very important. So Christine and I wanted to add it to the South Bronx Culture Trail this year. I love it. I love it. I love it. You stepped a little bit out of the Bronx music <laughs> for a minute. Well, I mean, you know, you're a folklorist. So. But, they, but you know, it, it still has arts and music because they worked with musicians, musicians and, and had right. musicians at rallies. So it all, all that comes together. In yeah. the work. It, there's nothing wrong with empowering the women, Elena. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have Elba Cabrera here in the flesh, right here, <laughs> present. Ah, la madrida de las artes. Oh, wow. What a I, blessing. I'm so, I am so honored, you know, to be representing my family. Um, I know that if they were here, they would, especially Evelina, who was always out there, would be ecstatic. 
um, when they first came to me, um, Elena and, and Christina, with the idea, I, you know, I gave my blessing, but I didn't think it was going to blow up because it's really become really large. And As all of a should, sudden, As and all should. of a sudden, you know, I'm saying, oh my God, you know, this is really big. But I feel very um, humbled, very happy that my family who came here so many, many years ago uh, is being recognized. So in this exhibit, um, in imagery, um, is, is there a particular story being told? What is that story? Well, in the Casita Maria part of it, on, on when it opens up on June 1st, <coughs> in Casita Maria, you can go there 4 to 6 for their reception, not for a youth component. Um, Nancy Mercado, the poet, and Ed Edgardo Miranda, the graphic artist, uh -huh. got together to create a giant coloring book of sort of the life of the three sisters as they came from Puerto Rico and their work here. And there'll be a, it'll be a huge coloring book on the walls where kids can go and color in as well and, and get the story of their life. And then at the Bronx Music Heritage Center, the story there is not so much like their full, their entire life, because we don't have a huge museum. They need an entire museum to try to tell everything about their life. But we wanted to focus on this work with um, how the arts was, was elemental, foundational to their, to their activism and their social justice work. So we will look at um, through archival photos from the Center for Puerto Rican Studies, family photos from Elba and Joe Conzo Jr her nephew, who is really helpful in getting this exhibit together. And also, there will be original artwork from some artists that have worked closely with Elba and the other, and the other sisters. So that, the exhibit will be a mix of all that to sort of show, um, shed a light on that part of their lives. This is wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just sitting here yeah. in awe because yeah. I can only imagine what this exhibit is going to be and feel like. And I, and I wonder what that feels like for you uh, to, in reminiscing. It's been difficult because I've, had, I've been forced to go back to memories uh, of my family, you know, and how we got here. But I have to give credit to my aunt who came in 1923 and was the, the person that started bringing us all here. Uh, Evelina came at ele age 11, <coughs> two years before I came with my mother and, and Lillian, my other sister. So it's been, a, it's it's been a, a blessing, you know, to be here and to be able to work. My mother always wanted us to finish high school. She had only gone to seventh grade in Puerto Rico. And she said, all I want you to do is finish high school. And I think we've gone beyond that. Yes, you have. Yeah. So <laughs> Above and beyond, yeah. to say the least. Yeah. Yes. And you continue. Yes. <laughs> and I yeah, and I continue for all of them, you know. I, I always say that I inherited Evelina and Lillian's friends, became my friends once they were gone. And uh, I just, I have to say this, that I've been very fortunate because I worked for the Association of Hispanic Arts for, for many years and I met wonderful artists who um, not only gave me, but gave me a lot of their feeling about what the world is about. You know, I, I think they are ahead, artists are ahead of their time in telling people what this world should be like. And I was fortunate enough to work with uh, Tato Laviera, uh, Manny Vega, Nicolas Amor. I mean, I, it, I could just go on and on in naming people who have influenced me in this world. That's wonderful. She just shouted out the late Tato Laviera, poet, writer, um, Manny Vega, artist, visual artist, extra extraordinaire, and uh, Nicolas Amor, the author. And so, yes, I'm, I'm in awe, I, and I congratulate you. And I can only imagine what this is going to become. Um, it's a story I think that's overdue. Um, it's really refreshing that you've chosen to shed light on it through visuals first, and I can't wait to see where it goes. Could I, could I say something? Sure. Um, Centro de Estudio Puerto Riqueño, Center for Puerto Rican Studies, has our papers. It has Evelina's, Lillian's, and mine, so that if there's, there's a student or anyone that's interested in the Puerto Rican community and what we've done, uh, they can actually go to Centro t to 
to, to re research further. To research. Yes, thank you. Thank you for sharing that because I think it's important and it's really good that, uh, well, we, we're on file and there's archives, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. uh, our history is important. For it, That's yeah. right. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank um, you. The opening reception, you guys, uh, once again, for Las Tres Hermanas Art and Activism will take place on Thursday, June 1st from 6.30 to 9 p.m. Yes? Sorry, but 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock at Casita Maria first. Okay, 4 youth. four o'clock to 6 o'clock at Casita Maria first, which is? The, um, the Edgardo Miranda and Nancy Mercado's coloring book for youth, okay. The Life of the Sisters. Okay, so it's 4 to 6 at Casita Maria, and then 6.30 to 9 at the Bronx Music Heritage Center. Okay, so you know what? You need to go to their website because this is an exhibit that I think is so important. Um, and it's going to be on display until September 9th. But for a full list of the details, um, you can go to thisisbronxmusic.org and you'll get the full schedule and the breakdown. Okay, so we're going to take a quick break, but we'll be back with more open after this. Today we're celebrating three great Puerto Rican women who were so much responsible for the revitalization of not only the South Bronx, but New York City in general from both a cultural standpoint, a socio-political standpoint. They were incredible activists and also they supported the arts immensely. We're talking about Evelina Antonetti, Lillian Lopez, and Elba Cabrera. So this, the exhibit is called Las Tres Hermanas, The Three Sisters. It's what is so special is that I knew all three sisters separately. And I, then I knew them together, and it was very special. It's, it's about history, it's about legacy, it's about who we are as Puerto Ricans. Those three Puerto Rican sisters were activists in the Bronx community. Evelina Lopez Antonetti was a champion for community rights and child education in the South Bronx. Lillian Lopez became the first Puerto Rican to hold a supervisory position in the New York City Public Library. And Elba Cabrera, who is alive today, became known as La Madrina de las Artes, the godmother of the arts. In those days, to be Puerto Rican, black, and radical, you had to be either crazy or tremendously convinced of your mission. In which this exhibition reflects. This exhibition became a testimony of the greatness of the legacy of these three women for all Latinos. The beauty of these three sisters vis-a-vis the Puerto Rican community is that they celebrated life. They celebrated who we are then and now and that they sort of were the hope and the that slogan from you know that we use so much recently that si se puede yes we can we had that within the three hermanas the three, the three sisters evelina uh, elba and lilian we came to this country you know young uh and my mother, all she wanted for us was to finish high school. And we went beyond that. Uh, I would like people to come to see this, this, this exhibit. It's um, in twofold. There's one in Casita Maria that's geared for young people. And that's for them to, to know who we were and what we did. And for them to pick up that baton. And of course here at this center, which is, has been a wonderful experience for me. To see the people that I touched, that Evelina touched, that Lillian touched, is more than I can expect. According to Elba, she did what she did because she saw the importance of caring for each other. For BronxNet, I am Katie Loy Knight.